Uh, hey everybody, Deshaun Watson and the National Football League have agreed to an 11 game suspension and a $5 million fine uh, to end this entire matter that started with Tony Busby filing a set of class action lawsuits alleging that originally up to 22, then 24, and then 30 women filed uh, complaints against Watson when really it boiled down to just four. And there was no evidence to actually be used to punish Watson. And Watson was twice cleared by law enforcement of any criminal wrongdoing. But this suspension and fine is more about the bad look that Watson gave to the National Football League. But let's not forget how we got here. Let's not forget how we got 28th, here. 28th, 2021. Quarterback Deshaun Watson has officially requested a trade from the Houston Texans. A source confirmed to the Athletics, Aaron Reese. Watson, 25, led the league in passing yards this season, racking up 4,823 yards and 33 touchdowns. The Texans finished the season 4-12 and and fired coach Bill O'Brien after an 0-4 start. The trade request comes after Watson was reportedly unhappy with the process used by the team to hire Nick Cressero, the general manager, in early January. If the Texans choose not to trade Watson, he could opt not to report to mandatory team activities or training camp, but at a cost. Houston can find Watson... $95,877 for missing minicamp and can fine him $50,000 per day for each day of training camp missed plus one week of salary or $620,000 for each preseason game missed. In the unlikely scenario that Watson chooses to retire, the Texans can collect $21.6 million. After Watson signed his contract extension last year, he was emotional as he discussed how happy he was to commit to the franchise and the city. It's just an amazing moment for me to be able to extend my career in a location, in a place, in a home, I would say that my family loves, that I love. Watson said September, I want to continue to dive into the community, most of all, and just continue to build my legacy. Just build our legacy as a whole and do something that we've never done before. Watson set career highs this season in passing yards, touchdowns, and completion percentage. He also threw a career low seven interceptions. His 33 touchdowns and 4,823 passing yards were single season franchise records. So the point I'm making is that Deshaun wanted to be traded because he didn't like the changes in the front office. He wanted to be a part of it. That's where all of this started. It wasn't until after he requested the trade that this business regarding fake massage therapists and fake lawsuits came a calling. So let's not forget that. Deshaun Watson was set up, and that's why this didn't pan out the way Tony Busby and others wanted it to. Subscribe to Zenny62. And bookmark Oakland News Now blog.com and stay tuned for more on this.